Right, hello people and welcome, welcome to another throwback Call of Duty gameplay or video. There will be a gameplay of course, because today we're back on Black Ops 1. We did a video on Black Ops 1 already. We showcased this game is alive and well. Now, obviously you guys are going to see in the bottom left there, 140,000 players. I want to reiterate just like I did last video, that is fake. It is not 140,000 players online, unfortunately. It would be insane if it was. But it is around actually 11,000, which is still, again, a really high number for these old Call of Duties. But there seems to be a lot of reason for that, which is one, I think everyone's starting to hear about these games possibly coming to Game Pass. Two, we've had the server fixes for matchmaking and stuff, so the games are easier to find. Three, people love these games. I love these games. You guys love these games. That's why you guys are all coming back on it to see them. And like I said, I've seen through the views on my videos and the comments, you guys want to see these games alive and well, and we're getting there. And today we're going to check out whether Search and Destroy is alive and well here in 2023 on Black Ops 1. But first of all, I do want to answer a question that I feel like has been coming up quite a bit in my comment section, and that is how does my gameplay look so smooth? So one, I'll start by saying the recording of the gameplay and the footage you are seeing is a lot smoother than what I actually am playing on. However, there is one thing you can do to make this better for yourself. So what I'm going to do is just show you guys. This is for all of you, of course, playing through the Xbox One reverse compatibility, because that's where I feel like most people are struggling with this. As If you're playing native on the 360, it should be fine. But however, come over to your TV and display options. As you can see, I've got my display on 1440p and 120 hertz. Now, of course, I'm not going to be playing at 120 FPS, but I can't be able to change this. And the only reason is, as well, I don't really need to, because I am using this... What you guys need to do is, if you can, I know some TVs and monitors might not be able to, enable your variable refresh rate. It makes the gameplay a lot more smoother, a lot more playable. And I feel like it, it deals with the input delay a little bit. It's still not perfect. You still experience input delay. There's not much you can do about that. But the input delay is definitely like cut down a bit and a lot more tolerable compared to not playing with the variable refresh rate on. So make sure you guys are turning on that saying, if you can, of course. But here we are. Let's go. Wow, we're in search and destroy. Really quick again. And we're on launch. Cannot remember the last time I played a game on launch. But anyway, we're hoping here, of course, to not run into any hackers. Again, I have not run into a single hacker so far playing in Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2. And I have even played Modern Warfare 3. So spoiler for kind of what video is coming up next as a throwback Call of Duty. But we will be playing some Modern Warfare 3. But anyway, we're here on launch. Doesn't look like there's a hacker in the lobby, and we're going to do something a little different. We're going to use the Galil. Now, is that going to hit? Because I know that's the spot. Is it? Okay. I'm hoping we can pull it off, because hitting a cross-map Tomahawk would be insane. Now, I know for a fact that a lot of people like to go up here. Uh, let's have a look. What are we looking at here? Throw a stun and possibly make our way forward. Let's see. Let's see. Again... Pretty good so far. Get the kill. Oh, I really thought we were going to get the kill there. I don't know how he got the jump on me there. But um, that was an okay start, wasn't it? We picked up two and the round is over. Now, the, the unfortunate thing is, of course, back in the day, these games only went up to four rounds. So, of course, we're going we're gonna to play more than just one game of Search and Destroy here to showcase, you know, how alive Search and Destroy is, for instance. And of course, I want to get as much gameplay in as, as you guys want to see, you know? Like, I feel like this video would be four minutes long if I uh, stick to the original. No, I was going to say, that guy stopped me. I wanted to I want to hit this cross map so bad. I have not hit a cross map Tomahawk for years now. Mainly because I haven't been throwing cross map Tomahawks for, for a while. You know, games like Modern Warfare 2, the Modern Warfare 2 of nowadays, the games of... Like, all, all the games nowadays are just so... Of course, with the skill-based matchmaking, you're just so competitive in pubs that you don't really get the aspect of fun of being able to throw a Tomahawk cross the map. Now, of course, I could play Search and Destroy in Model 2 and throw a Tomahawk across the map, but is it likely to hit? No. The people we're facing against are going to be people who probably know about the spots, know what to avoid, and it's just not the same. Whereas this, this is fun. Okay, I've, I reiterate. I re -reiterate what I said in the last game video, which was how fun these games are. I don't really need to tell you guys how fun these games are. You guys are coming back on here. I'm seeing through the comments. I'm seeing through what you guys are posting and putting that, you know, you are, you are going back on here and they're enjoying this game. Well, not just Black Ops 1, but Black Ops 2, MW2, the original MW2 that is, MW3. You guys are enjoying these games. 
and you just want to play some fun Call of Duty, something that isn't an algorithm, something that isn't just telling you when you're going to have fun and telling you how you're going to have fun, you get to come back on here, and if you want to do what this guy's doing in NoobTube, go ahead. If you want to throw Tomahawks, go ahead. If you want to use a ballistic knife, go ahead. You want to use a glue? Anything you want to do, you can just go do it. You know? And for me, like I said, I, I've been having a lot of fun with this. And it also it's also a bit of a, a bit of a downer in a way, not because of like being on these games, but when you compare this to what we have nowadays, you wonder where it went so wrong. What what changed? What changed to make these you know compared to how good these games are now? And somebody just got hit with a cross map tomahawk. I'm so annoyed that wasn't me, like doing that. Damn it, I was hoping there'd be someone like just there on the bomb side. Well, how am I running this? No, I can't change my uh, class, of course. So that is one one thing that's a lot better nowadays. You know, of course, with newer Call of Duties, you are going to get some better features and being able to change a class during a game is a good feature, of course. But um, yeah, we're not doing two right now. We're three and three. We were, we were two and over the game or two and one. I can't remember now. But either way, I'd rather take going even in a game like this than dropping a nuke in Modern Warfare 2. And I know that sounds crazy to say, but it's just so boring playing the modern day Call of Duties. And, you know, you guys agree with me. I know you guys agree with me. You guys are telling me about how much fun you are having playing and going back to these games. And of course, I'm making these videos to show you what's available, what to avoid, what you should be playing, you know, what can be done. Oh, this guy, that, that would have been crazy. Imagine if he got a free piece there. But, yeah, so we're going to try and, stop, uh, try and uh, step it up a little bit here, because we're not, again, we're not carrying the lobby. But of course, these gameplays aren't about the gameplay, again, we're, we're showcasing there's no cheaters. Not a single person is cheating in this game. And also, we're getting to play on launch here. Let's talk about launch, okay? This is a very underrated map, in my opinion, because launch isn't talked about as much as it should be. Compared to your nuke towns, your firing range and stuff. This is one of the best maps in this game. But it's rarely ever talked about as being one of the best, which I find crazy now. That was a little bit of lag there, which is also not surprising. Again, we are playing on peer-to-peer -peer connections, so whoever's hosting this gets host advantage, of course. And yeah, so pick up that dude. And now we're going to see if we can get that nice little headshot there. I love seeing just the... the large big numbers across my screen i don't know if anyone else just gets like some sort of how do i put it what's what's the term i'm looking for like a massive dopamine hit is what i'm looking for just a massive dopamine hit of being able to see your score across the screen of a thousand and five hundred just all pop up at once anyway let's see this person's using a glue on silence what a crazy crazy person there was someone there but are we going to catch him off guard here? I'm not so sure. Oh, and that, my people, no matter what Call of Duty you're playing, it doesn't matter. That is card timing. You can play the modern day Call of Duty and you can play the old Call of Duties. You're still going to experience card timing. That wasn't too much of a bad round until that happened. And then that guy got picked up by a Claymore. <clears throat> but, uh... Yeah, it's nice to be back on here. And also, I don't know if you guys are hearing as well. I don't know if my gameplay audio is like loud enough for you guys to hear. The audio soundtrack again for this map, just any map in this game, like this has its own specific audio per map. When you listen to it, it's just... I don't know, it just gets you really pumped up to play Call of Duty. I don't know if anyone else feels like that. But it does for me. I, again, it's just a massive dopamine hit really, but... Pick it up kills. Oh, I imagine if I got that kill then. I really thought I was going to get that kill then. What happened there? I found myself hitting him and then I wasn't sure. Like, I couldn't see anything and I almost did it, but hey. Someone in, someone's calling him Moors. That was someone on the enemy team, this I Meadows X person. But uh, connections are decent as well. Everyone seems to be running a four bar in this lobby. And again, I don't know what it is with Black Ops 1, but everyone seems to be new. I don't know if this is some people coming back because of obviously the reverse compatibility and the words getting around that these games are playable again, but um, it's it's insane. It is absolutely insane. 
how many new players or new low levels you're finding. Again, these people might have the same situation I have, that they don't have access to their old OG 360 accounts. Because that's the same situation for me, but I I did play this game when it came back out on reverse compatibility. And damn, and that emblem there showcases why we don't have the emblem there. Don't get me wrong, I think emblems like that are funny. But well, we unfortunately don't have an emblem made there anymore, and it's probably the reason why is something like that. But anyway, let's uh, move forward a bit, and let's see. Let's hope that Tomahawk hits. I want to hit one so badly. I don't know what map I'm hoping for. Fun fact, my first ever cross-map Tomahawk was on Summit. Oh, we can't see. We can't see. There we go. We did a little, give him a little peek and a little walk away. That person's got my right. There we go. See, I need to not rush so much. That's that's one of my problems. Like, I seem to be rushing too much. Enemy spy and I'm not saying you, you have to camp in these games, right? But the movement's a little bit different. It's not like, you know, doing a slide cancel around the corner, which I enjoy, right? Okay, I hate slide canceling. I think it's the worst thing ever. I know there's some people who wish it could come back. I'm not a fan of that. Slide canceling was a horrible, horrible thing in Call of Duty. It's, it's, it's basically a glitch is what it is and people seem to have a lot of fun with that but me personally i did not i did not enjoy that don't worry buddy i've got you and we pick up the win we went nine and five that's pretty decent we're obviously not going to drop the numbers we do currently in modern warfare 2 that is the modern day modern warfare 2 because obviously they those games got to six rounds compared to these going up to four and obviously we just played the max rounds you could possibly play there but um yeah Search and destroy people, alive and well, in 2023. But that's not it, guys. Of course, we're going to go play another lobby. We're going to see. We're going to stay in this lobby, because of course we don't have disbanding lobbies, and we're going to showcase another game for you guys. And uh, let's see if we can get a good map. Now, Havana's okay, but I don't know the cross map spot for Havana, and I want to end this video with a Tomahawk cross map. I also want to see if like hackers do join the lobby. It looks like no one's actually going to back out of this lobby. And look at this. Do you remember this? Being able to see your nemesis. How many people used to use this to trash talk other players when you realized that the person trash talking you was your nemesis and you realized that you killed them so many times? Because I did. I did it back in the day. The trash talk in this game was insane. I mean, all the older Call of Duty's had a lot of great trash talking. Because of course, you don't really have it now, especially like playing on Xbox One. It doesn't actually force you into the game chat. But if you played on the 360 back in the day you were forced into game chat and this is where the real people you know the real boys played at you were a man you had to come in here you had to have your mic and headset on and you had to get ready to defend yourself talk your trash and win your games like this is this was it but uh, there's not a lot of mics in here now currently we're having an issue making balanced teams which is interesting it says 11 of 12 in the lobby so are we waiting for one more player possibly again we're showcasing it how it is, but whilst we're waiting, let's have a look. What do we got here? What's in my combo record? I mean, I could prestige. I'm not going to do that because I do want to be able to use these classes and stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I know what else everyone else is doing. Everyone remember to, used to do this with your guns. Yeah, moving it back and forth. We all know what we're doing here, right? I can't really say it because of YouTube, of course. And uh, we don't know what YouTube will do if I say that. But anyway, we're playing on Crisis. Uh, Crisis, wow. You guys are going to hate me for saying that. Cracked. We're playing on Cracked. Why did I say Crisis? Anyway, we're playing on Cracked. Search and Destroy in 2023. And uh, we've showcased the glue. What haven't we showcased yet? We used that last time. Do you guys want to see me snipe? This could be... This could be the worst thing ever or the greatest thing ever. What have I even got on this? I mean, screw it. We're here to enjoy. I wish I actually had ballistic knives. That's kind of... That's kind of how you should run your L96 and stuff. But anyway, we're going to see if I still got it. I used to be quite good at this. Oh, I really thought that... Damn it. You know what I tried to do there? Because it was a force of habit. I tried to dolphin dive and it just didn't work out. Um, let's pump this up to six. Because we're going to need to do some drag scopes. And uh, I guess we're going to watch this man with his Spaz 12, I believe it's called. You wait, it was called the Spaz. I know that. I don't know why I don't remember this exact name. I'm pretty sure it was the Spaz 12 is what it was called. But this was your, your spam shotgun. And crazy enough, shotguns were actually balanced quite well in this game. You don't really see that anymore nowadays. Shotguns in 
modern day Call of Duty is, and just any Call of Duty really seems to be really overpowered. This game, I feel like, got it right. Don't get me wrong, the shotguns were not great, but they weren't unusable. You know, there wasn't a moment where I felt like someone would absolutely ruin the game using one of these shotguns. But at the same time, they were usable. Every gun was pretty much usable. Let's have a look. Oh, well, I can't really check the weapons, can I? I feel like you could use every gun. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't think many people use the M72 Law. Uh, the Olympia was a powerful shotgun, but you only had two rounds. It took an age to reload. And uh, that's the round there, people. That is the round. But uh, hopefully I can get some snipes with you guys, and hopefully I don't do it a disservice, because you guys aren't going to believe me if I don't actually get a kill with this, but I was really, really good with the L96 back in the day. I think I just, I grasped how to do it and how to, because this is crazy, like, in this game was probably the worst iteration of sniping we'd ever seen, at least as far as most people would say. Now, I want a quick serve. I don't want to... I mean, that's not going to help. That's not a quick scope. I believe he just killed him anyway. But uh, I don't want a hard scope. It, we want to hit some quick scopes. I know some of you might get annoyed at that because obviously some of you, I think, believe that snipers shouldn't be able to quick scope and stuff. But I don't mind it as long as it's not absurd. That's that's my take on that. Who's getting shot? Oh, bit of lag, bit of lag. But, you know, that is expected. For a stun there. Right, he just died near the back of the map. We're going to put that down. Forgot my thing set to that. But, uh, I guess we're just waiting for them to come out of spawn. Either that or they've gone to A, I'm not sure. I want to hit snipe. That's all I want to do. It helps if I could, you know... Right, I need to, I need to do this a good service and that's not going to happen if I don't hit any snipes anytime soon we know someone over there we're not doing too hot with this right the music's getting intense Where is this person at? Did they all die? Oh, they're all dead. Okay, I did not notice that. I'm not doing a very good service to the L96, okay? Like I said, I might. it might be a case of I used to be good with this. I'm not dead. I need to get used to how to do this. Again, sniping was a little bit different in this game compared to other games. I feel like the drag scope was where you wanted to be at with this. Damn, I just got shot for a wall. But apparently it didn't come up as... Does it show you if you get wall banged? Is that, is that a thing that shows on the kill feed? Or does it just show what weapon you died to? I think it just shows what weapon you died to. But he definitely wall banged me there, which is uh, not okay. But at least our team's carrying me. They are carrying me. I don't seem to have it with the L96 in the moment. I don't know... I don't know what I should do. Should I change it up to very high? Because that's what it seems to feels like to me. I don't, I don't feel like I can hit those drag scopes the way I want to hit them. But, uh... Yeah. Let me know down below in the comment section, though. I want to know, guys, what is the one game that you were really good at when it came to sniping? That's that's a good question. I feel like everyone has that one game that they were top dog at sniping. And I want to know what that game you guys were top dog at when it came to sniping in Call of Duty. It can even be a modern-day Call of Duty. It doesn't even have to be a throwback Call of Duty. But I want to know. Because for me, it was Black Ops 1. I know I'm not going doing a very good showcase right now. I might have to put some time in in the combat trading and uh, come back with a video for you all where I do use the L96 and uh, showcase how it's done. But uh, right now, we're not we're not doing a very good job, I'm going to be honest. But uh, also for all you trick shotters and that, I'd love to know as well. And some of you coming back and trick shotting, I've seen, I've seen only one comment so far of all the videos I've done of someone saying they've gone back to trick shot. Are you guys coming back to do trick shots? Because, you know, trick shotting's okay. Don't be one of those people who asks for a setup. I want to see some legit trick shots. Good job. You know, Good actual trick shots. Point. No, I'll give you 2,000 Microsoft points if you go stand in the middle of that. We don't want to be seeing that. We want to see some Phase Clan S trick shots here in 2023. That'd be crazy as well. Would that make a comeback? Because I know trick shotting isn't the same anymore. It's it's You don't see it anymore. You just don't see it. 
not even in lobbies. I mean, obviously, because right skill-based matchmaking with the modern-day cards, you won't. But the objective. I just don't see it. It just does oh, not happen. Fired. Not a single time do I ever see Trickshy in a Call of Duty. Come on, I want to hit one snipe. Just one. Just one snipe. That's all I'm asking for now. He's right over here, right? We did it, but that hardly counts, doesn't it? Oh my god, we're... We're, we're not very good at this, it seems. <laughs> wow. Okay. We definitely need to take some time into combat training. With the L96, because... Uh, I used to be pretty good with it, and we're not doing a good job right now. We really are not. It's okay. We have time to learn. And like I said, even though I'm messing up, I'm doing a bit bad... I'm still enjoying this. That's what it's about. This is what Call of Duty doesn't have anymore. I don't have that enjoyment that I'm used to. I like just being able to throw a Tomahawk across the map. Do I care about my KD? I absolutely do not. I don't care. I want to just play a game and enjoy it. Where did he come from? Can you do that? Where did he run through? Oh, is there a doorway into that? I did not know that. Did not know that. Anyway, we're probably spending more time watching my teammates play than we are watching myself play. And in fact, I'd imagine they might pick up the win here. A shame I couldn't do it with the L96 for you guys. I got one quick scope and it hardly counted because the person was not looking at me. But uh, I hope you guys are doing having a lot better time with sniping and using ballistic knives and tomahawks than I am. Hopefully I'll get it right. Hopefully I'll uh, I'll put some time in and uh, learn how to get good with, uh, with the L96 again. But uh, we're probably going to wrap this up here. This is going to be close to the end of the video. But in fact, this is a very long video as well. But I'm sure you guys won't mind. As again, this is a showcase. The Black Ops 1. I was about to say Black Ops 2. Black Ops 1. Oh, I well, see, this person knows how to do it. I need to learn from T-Wayne here. T-Wayne knows what he's doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but T-Wayne does. But anyway, Black Ops 1 is alive and well in 2023. Not just in Team Deathmatch like we showcase. You can go into Search Destroy and play and not run into hackers and have decent connection, okay? It wasn't perfect. I know it's saying a full bar. It was, it was a little bit little bit stagnant here and there, but it was okay for the best part, you know? Now we're going to back out of here. But yeah, again, I'll show you as well. My party private, I am searching on a open connection. I might actually, I'm not that, sorry. My search preferences are on default just because I don't know if this affects, like if people have this set to this, do you match with people only set to that? I don't know. But anyway, Black Ops 1, Search and Destroy. 2023 alive and well if you guys want to come back and play search destroy you absolutely can and you can absolutely get into games and not find hackers and have a nice good connection experience and fun experience here in 2023 in black ops 1 so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did leave a comment leave a like subscribe subscribe and notifications on i'll catch you guys in the next video goodbye